So we are asking for affiliation and application fees to be reduced downwards and the new arbitrary fees to be immediately withdrawn. Indeed, within the entire system of affiliation and mentoring was originally meant as a service, a public service of support to new fledgling institutions emerging. So then it becomes a moral responsibility on the part of the Lagos, the USD, the people to support this. Because you know it's quite obvious that many of us then would otherwise have wanted to come to public universities. We are absorbing the spillovers that otherwise would have been all over the place, you know, uh, with little education and with virtually with no employment. Education offered by private universities is a public good. We are not doing this to please ourselves. We are doing this to serve the nation. It is national service. Considering also that many private university candidates are non-profit, meaning that if there's any surplus at the end of the day, this is not a surplus that anybody pockets. But surplus that is in reinvested in infrastructure and scholarships um, for the university and for the students. Indeed, we think the entire system which was originally meant for so to support the nature the institutions is liable to growth and use. Particularly if it turns out it turns into a major source of revenue for the bigger investors. Particularly you and I also know that government support for public investors is gradually dwindling. So then when they realize that this is a cash cow, why don't they rely on our fees or the fees that we can levy on us. This then becomes a great economic opportunity. Um, and then the original rationale as a public service is then lost. But profit motivation will then take over. Now apart from all this, there is a dilemma when a private electrical has more than one mentor. But I don't know so far of any public university college that has just one mentor. Of course, you have one mentor in the sense that the, the administration is affiliated to just one university, like central affiliated to the procedure. But our programs, the programs that we run, are affiliated to more than one university, invariably, minimum of the two universities, um, which means you are a servant serving three masters. Now, for private universities that need to have their own self-identity, you want to be an associate, you want to be a central, you want to be a Wisconsin. That has to wait. Meanwhile, you are operating eye under somebody else's identity, not just one person, but three different identities. You are using the grading system of Lego for some of your programs, the grading system of tech for others, the grading system of tech for the others. You become a hybrid of no identity. You are an amorphous institution. Who are you? You are not assessing. The real assessing cannot be made until so many years after. If somebody decides that Archesi now deserves to be an autonomous university, they have given us a minimum of 10 years that the regulation you can apply for, um, for a charter after 10 years. Some of our universities are in their 17th year. That's the way to go charter. So, so long as you are in a this position, you will suffer, you agonize from all the factors that we have uh, talked about. Apart from all this, in the past few months, some public universities have said they can no longer take on new programs or new program affiliations because their hands are full. 